witnessed the space race between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Men discovered the moon, women discovered the miniskirt, and design became glamorous and futuristic in representing the space age. David Bowie sang about Major Tom, the fictional astronaut who traveled into space and became lost during the journey. The film Diamonds Are Forever featured the chic Ellard House, the ultimate bachelor pad of James Bond, built in Palm Springs and designed by John Lautner. And Paul Rudolph designed his own homage to space. Googie was the architecture mode born in Southern California, which came to express the space age, and the art of living movement was formulated by a new generation of designers seeking to express the space age for upscale lifestyle. They experimented with new materials, invented sleek forms, and created furniture in small editions. They added dramatic sense to the contemporary interior decor while turning away from the industrial aesthetics of mass-produced design of the post-war years. Barbara D'Arcy, chief decorator of the model rooms at Bloomingdale's flagship store, a guru tastemaker created stylish, sophisticated rooms that looked as if they belonged in spaceships. Stainless steel came to suggest the spirit of the moment and its futuristic aesthetics, with its continuous stainless steel bent into a whole workstation. This desk, designed in 1966 for the Peugeot headquarters in Paris, is a seminal representation of space age design. Gabriella Crespi created glamour furniture in brass and steel for such clientele as Elizabeth Arden, Princess Grace, and the Shah of Iran, who loved the glossy geometrical volumes. And Pierre Cardin, the dean of space age style couture, created furniture in the same bold shapes as his signature dresses. Paco Rabanne dressed up women in sleek dresses of stainless steel discs, and Maria Perguet became the star designer of the space age. Since creating revolutionary furniture for France's leading steel manufacturer in 1968, Perguet led the way into a new direction in design. Her fluid flying carpet daybed and rent chair are still the full embodiment of her style. Guy de Rougemont did his cloud tables, and French sculptor Philippe Hicouli created his own version of space-aged furniture. The Soviet-American race to the moon brought a worldwide fascination with outer space and resulted in a futuristic design movement. It declined in the late 70s, but has experienced a strong revival today. 